Hi everybody, I am Colleen Evans. I am the Director of Natural Sciences at the Staten Island Museum, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this homemade dip net so you can catch aquatic insects and other critters that live in the water. Let's get started! So in order to make this net, you will need a wire clothes hanger, a pair of old tights or stockings. These will be sacrificed in the name of science, so old ones are key. Also, they should be adult-sized. Kids' ones will be too small. Uh, and I prefer light-colored ones, so it's easier to see what you catch. You'll need scissors, a needle and thread, or a stapler, uh, a roll of duct tape, and then a sticker rod of some kind. Uh, this could be an old broom handle, something from your yard. It just needs to be relatively straight and sturdy and a couple feet long. Um, I'm actually using a bar that broke off of my laundry rack. Um, use what you got. Uh, so to start, you're going to tie the legs of your tights together like so. So you want to make a loop and pull it through once, make a loop again, pull it through twice, uh, you want to tie it tight, but not too tight. It can be a little bit loose. Um, and at this point, you can cut off the ends of your legs. So we'll take our scissors. And we'll snip that off one leg and two legs. You can discard those. The next thing you want to do is take your hanger and you're going to pull it into a diamond shape. So you just want to pull down on that center bar to create a little bit of a diamond. And now you will take your tights and you want to put them in the middle of the hanger and you want to fold the waistband around the hanger. You're going to have to stretch them. This is why you didn't want to use kids' tights. Um, adult ones are going to work a lot better. So once you have your waistband folded over, you want to you can either stitch it or staple it into place. I'm going to use a stapler, just because that's easier on video. And so you want to keep the waistband fairly close to the wire as you do this. Stitch one, and you're going to have to fidget with the tights as you go. And you want these spaced fairly close together. Uh, you don't want them too far apart, otherwise uh, the tights are going to curl. And then you won't have a good net. So now you should have a little net on a frame. Next thing you want to do is take the hook part of your hanger and straighten it. You want it fairly straight at this point because you are now going to tape it to whatever your stick is. Um, I've already cut a couple pieces of duct tape. You want to use, you want to be pretty generous with your duct tape because um, this is what's going to hold your net together. And you don't want to lose the net part in the water. And there you have it. You have a net. Your next step is to go find some water to collect things in. Best places to look are the edges of ponds, in streams, or in tide pools. Uh, just make sure to bring an adult with you. And if you are already an adult, just bring a buddy because you will be by water. Uh, this net works best for catching things that are found on the surface of the water. So things like whirly geek beetles or mosquito larvae, or to catch things that are suspended in the water, like diving beetles. Uh, bring a container with you. You can fill it with a little bit of water, put your insects that you catch in it so you can observe them, maybe take a picture or draw a picture of them. Uh, just make sure to put the critters back in the water that they came from. Don't just dump them on the ground and don't take them home with you either. Uh, and that's it. I hope you had fun today and happy Earth Day and happy insect hunting. Bye.